saints of God, I would like for you to turn with me this evening to the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms and turn with me to Numbers 1, I'm excuse me, Numbers 27. That is the book of Psalms, number 27. And let us read verse 4 together. That is the book of Psalms. And here David is the writer. Yet let us put ourselves, O Lord, into what we are reading. For we must make it personal. This was David's testimony. Yet if you love God and you are committed to God, then you should be able to relate to what David is speaking in verse number four. Let us read together verse Psalms 27 and verse four. Psalms 27 and verse number four. Hallelujah. Uh, let us read together. Verse 4, let's read. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Let the church say amen. Oh, we bless the Lord. Now turn with me to the book of Luke. The book of Luke chapter 19. The book of Luke, chapter 19, and we're going to read verses 1 through 6 responsively. That is the book of Luke, chapter 19, beginning at verse number 1. When you have it, say amen. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Verse 2, saints. And he sought to see Jesus. Somebody say, see Jesus. Who he was and could not for the press because he was little of stature. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste. And come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And verse 6, let's read together. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. Let the church say amen. We bless the Lord for the reading of his holy word. And saints of God, tonight's message is a burning desire to see Jesus. Having a burning desire to see Jesus. A desire is a strong feeling of wanting to have something or do something. A desire is a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wanting to do something. And a desire is compared to a type of craving. We crave or we hunger for a certain type of food. We have a desire for that food. And when we crave that food, we look to obtain that food to satisfy that particular desire or craving. The other day I had a desire or a craving for some brownies. And so I was online and I ordered some brownies from this uh, place. And uh, about time the brownies got to my house, the desire was gone. I no longer had the craving uh, for those particular brownies. Um, yeah, a desire, it 
comes and a desire goes. A, a desire can be satisfied. But a burning desire is continually. A, a burning desire is intense. It is stronger than just a desire because it doesn't go away. And the word burning, it represents something that's on fire. It represents something that's hot. And uh, saints of God, we did not have a desire to serve God, to please God, until God put that desire, that burning desire on the inside. The Holy Ghost gives you that desire to want to please God, to want to serve God want to obey God, to want to submit to God. The Holy Ghost is that burning desire that comes from the inside. It's a desire that wants to see Jesus. It's a desire that is willing to do whatever it takes. Glory to God. To see Jesus in eternal glory. It's a strong desire that doesn't go away because it is fueled by his word. It is fueled by our experiences with him. For the more we get to know God, the more I have a desire to please him, the more I have a desire to praise him, the more I have a desire to love him. And when you have that burning yes. desire, Lord, you will let nothing stop you. Amen. Oh, Lord, to get to that place where you can enjoy the fellowship with Jesus. Jesus is no longer walking upon the earth, but yet he abides, oh Lord, within us by his spirit. For the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are one. And when you get your portion, when you get your, your peace of Jesus, the Lord wants to abide within your house. And the Lord, he gives you a hunger. Oh, it's a hunger for his word. Oh, Lord, that only his word can satisfy. It's a hunger for your soul. And nothing else will satisfy your longing soul, your hungry soul, like this good word. Oh, he's a good God, saints. Well, the flesh has a desire too. There's a fleshly desire that we are born with. And that desire is a desire not to serve God. That's a desire not to obey God. And that's a desire not to submit to God. This fleshly desire is contrary to the spirit. And uh, we must know that when we fulfill those lustly desires, we, we quench, oh Lord, the, the fire of the Holy Ghost and that desire to please God. But the Lord said, if you walk in the spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust or the desires of the flesh. But there's so many things in this world that appeal to this flesh. And the devil will make it convenient for this flesh 
to be satisfied. But yet when you have a burning desire, oh Lord, to please God, you will let nothing, oh Lord, enter into your vessel, your temple, except it be the good word, the things that benefit, oh Lord, your soul, the things that prosper your soul. Oh, the psalmist David, he acknowledged that there were many things that he could have inquired or asked um God. But David said one thing, oh Lord, have I desired um the Lord. Now when you think about all of the things that we can ask God for, Many would ask for a long life. Many would ask for the riches of this world. Many may ask for the victory over their enemy. But David said, Lord, there's only one thing. Lord, that's more important to me than anything else. See, the one thing Hallelujah, has priority over the many things. When that one thing that you desire, and that is, hallelujah, oh, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord. My God, saints, don't compromise the one thing for the many other things that this world offers, that the devil offers because the one thing that God offers is more than what money can buy is more than what positions in this world can attain but yet there is a fellowship there is a communion with God that you can't put a price on and this fellowship with God Hallelujah, it just gets better and better for the hunger and the desire gets stronger and stronger. Hallelujah, amen, for our desires fuel our efforts and the things that we desire, we will put forth an effort to obtain that particular thing we desire. And so David said, there's one thing, if I desire that will, I seek after. For God, he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him, that seek him daily. Oh, that seek him in the morning, and that seek him in the noonday. Seek him late at night. Every opportunity that I get, Oh, because there's a, a burning and a hunger oh, to dwell in a place where God is. I'm going to take advantage of those opportunities. Every time God wake me up in the morning is another opportunity to spend with Jesus. And uh, many feel as if God is just a Sunday God. And uh, they feel as if their opportunity to, to dwell in the presence of God is just on Sunday. But yet, I would like to share with you that God, he's an everyday God. He's an every hour God. And every opportunity that I get, I just desire to dwell, to dwell in the house of the Lord. For the word dwell means to abide and to remain, and more specifically, in the presence of the Lord. For his house is not necessarily a, a church building. For God's house is a spiritual house. And we are lively stones. We are a part of his building. We are the church. And so we are connected to God and we have access to God. 
Oh, Lord, we don't have to wait a certain time of the day or a certain time of the year. But every chance you get, we can come boldly to the throne of grace. Oh, he's waiting. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for me, oh, Lord, in that secret place. He's waiting for me in his house. And uh, when you have a, a burning desire, oh, Lord, you, you look to dwell there as long as you possibly can. Once you get there, it's not just a, a quick visit. But yet, Lord, I just want to enjoy your goodness. I want to enjoy the love of God because you can feel his love. Oh, Lord, caressing your soul. You can feel his joy. You can feel his peace to let you know that I'm going to make everything all right. Oh, when you're troubled and problems mount up, oh, get to that place. Oh, God's house where he can counsel you, where he can comfort you. He may not take away your troubles, your hardships, but yet he'll lift up your soul. And let you know that I have got you covered under my blood. Oh, he's a good God, saints. Not only did the psalmist David desire to dwell in the house of the Lord, but he said, all the days of my life, my God, I told you there's no limit, oh, Lord God, but we put limits, oh, God, on what we can do for God and how much time we give God. And, and we want to know, we just don't want to see him just in this life, but there is life everlasting. For David said, all the days of my life. And, and so if you have a, a burning desire to see Jesus while you're on the earth, oh Lord, there's a greater desire to see him in glory and when the more time you spend with him in, in, in private then, then your public worship your public service oh Lord will be enhanced it will be magnified oh it don't take long for you to get a breakthrough a prayer through glory to God because you just was talking to Jesus Oh, you just were dwelling with him a short time ago. Well, David said, I just want to behold, which means to see, my God, the, the beauty of the, I just want to see Jesus. When I come to the house of God, I just want to, to see the, the manifestation of God. I want to see the glory of God. I want to see God do something that no one else can do but him. And when you're looking for Jesus to manifest himself, you have expectations. You're waiting for God to show up, and he will do just that. Well, if you're not looking for him, you won't see him. If you're not seeking him, you're going to miss him. But don't let God pass you by. Oh, while his presence is in his house, you have to reach out and touch him. Oh, how do you touch an invisible God? Well, you touch God by the spirit of the Lord. You touch God with praise. You touch God with thanksgiving. You touch God with humility. Lord, I bow before you. Lord, I submit and surrender my will to your will. A proud spirit God will not touch. As a matter of fact, he will resist. But yet, when we humble ourselves, oh, when we surrender and say, Lord, have your way. Lord, I'm yours, Lord. God, shape me. Mold me, Lord. My body, my mind, my heart belongs to you. Lord, speak a word to me because not only do I want to see, but I want to inquire. And inquire means to ask or to seek. 
information. And when you have a burning desire and a hunger, you desire to get to know more about God. You develop a hunger over oh, the spiritual food, Lord, that strengthens, Lord, the spirit man. It's the food, it's the fuel that keeps, Lord, that burning fire, that fire burning. It keeps that fire hot because the Lord doesn't want you to get cold or lukewarm. But yet, saints, I thank God for when that burning fire of God Hallelujah moves in you. You just can't sit down. Oh, you just can't contain yourself. You got to stand up and say, Lord, I praise you for waking me up this morning. And I thank you, Lord, for eyes to see. I thank you for hands to clap. Oh, he's a good God. Well, we can see by God's word that Jesus, when he walked this earth, he he visited many different cities and he traveled, Lord, to meet the need of, of those that were hurting, those that were brokenhearted, those that were blind, those that, hallelujah, could not help themselves. And as Jesus was entering into a city called Jericho, there was a man by the name of Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus must have heard of who Jesus was. He must have heard of the things that Jesus had done for others. And Zacchaeus said, I have to see him for myself. Glory to God. Yes, it's great to know what God has done for others, but when you taste of this good joy for yourself, no one can tell you how sweet it is until you get it down in your soul. Oh, we can talk about it and we can encourage you, Lord, to receive this gift. But until you seek the Lord, until you call on him for yourself, until he fills you with his presence, Lord God, you don't know what you're missing. Well, Zacchaeus, he was a publican, and uh, he was rich, and yet he was one who was little of stature. Well, in the sight of man, old standards, he was big, for he was rich, and he had status and authority but yet saints of God man's standard cannot measure up to God's standard but we all have come short of the glory of God we all need God to change us from the inside out our money cannot change our condition before God for just like Zacchaeus he was born uh, short in stature and his money couldn't change that his position in the world could not change that there, there are certain features within our body you know we just can't change now there are many surgeons and plastic surgeons and specialists that can change a lot of uh, features on the outside. But yet, saints, only the Holy Ghost can change your wicked heart on the inside. Only the Holy Ghost can redeem your soul that is condemned and lost. Uh, it does not matter how much money one may have. Oh, Lord, they must come to see Jesus the same way. Glory to God. God doesn't have a rich way and a poor way or a middle class way. But everyone must come to Jesus and repent of their sins. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, and be filled with 
the Holy Ghost. For except the man be born of the water and of the spirit, he shall no wise enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus is the way. Oh, Lord, and we must make it our priority before we leave this earth. We better make sure we see Jesus down here. Oh, Lord, that we might make an appointment to see him when he come back again. Oh, he's a good God. Well, Zacchaeus, he sought to see Jesus. He had responsibilities. He had money, but he made it a priority. Oh, he dropped all of the other important things. And he made up in his mind that it was one thing that he desired at that moment. That, hallelujah, that I am going to see Jesus. That, and now there was many people, that, a crowd that, that had gathered to see Jesus. That, but because Zacchaeus that, was little in stature, that he couldn't see Jesus that because people were that in his way that and so when you have a strong desire that a burning desire that you will let nothing that or nobody that no one stop you that from seeing Jesus that you will let no obstacle that keep you uh, from making most uh, of this opportunity uh, to see Jesus. Uh, he was passing by uh, as Zacchaeus may have said uh, I may not have uh, this chance again uh, but I better make uh, haste uh, if you got a desire uh, you can't sit there and do nothing. Uh, you better seek the Lord uh, while he may be found. Uh, seek and ye shall find. Uh, ask and it shall be given. Uh, knock uh, and God will open the door. Uh, he'll come in uh, and sup with you. Uh, many see a closed door uh, and they say there's nothing behind that door. That, but when you knock uh, that, by calling on Jesus, uh, that, I'm so glad that he answered uh, that, my call. Uh, that, and I'm still knocking today. Uh, that, and every time I knock, uh, that, every time I call Jesus, uh, that, he answers. Uh, that, and I'm so glad uh, that the know that he's still abiding, that he's still dwelling, that, that I can behold the beauty, that he's a beautiful God, that he shows us how great he is, that when he steps in, that and does something for you, that, that no one else can do, that but him, that did you see Jesus, that working it out for you, that did you see Jesus, that when he came to your rescue, that when he came came to your bedside it wasn't the nurse it wasn't the doctor but it's Jesus that moved on your behalf that touched their heart to find favor with you that's not people that's Jesus and I'm so glad that when you have a burning desire that you're not going to walk that but you're going to run that oh lord to see jesus that i was glad that when they said unto me that let us go that to the house of the lord that i came running that when they said unto me that let us go that to the house of the lord that i'm not talking about running physically that can't do that much anymore. That, but yet, that, 
I can run for Jesus. I can make haste and get busy making myself available to where God is. He's a good God. So Zacchaeus, he might have jumped up and down, but he still couldn't see where he wanted to see. I got to see him for myself. Have you ever thought about that? When Jesus comes back in the same manner that he left, you got to have a burning desire to say, I got to see him for myself. I better make sure I'm doing whatever it takes down here. Walking, right living, not fulfilling the lust of the flesh, but walking in the spirit. Lord have your way Woo, there's a burning there's a fire that comes from the inside and the Lord when his fire is burning he's speaking trying to light somebody's fire when your fire is burning you're like Jeremiah I can't hold it in it's like fire that shut up in my bones. That, oh, I won't speak no more that, of your word. That, but Jeremiah realized that I can't hold it in. That, it's burning. That, it's burning that, in my soul. That, so the key ass, that, he ran ahead that, and then he climbed up that, oh, to see Jesus. Jesus, that you got to put yourself in a position that where yet you can get a better glimpse, that a better look, that you may not be able to get a clear that look, that because sin is in the way. That when you cleanse yourself that from the unclean thing, that I can see clearer, that I can hear Jesus' voice a little clearer. That oh, the devil want to dirty you up, that, dirty up your windows that, with sin, that, but yet Jesus, that, oh, he's washing, that, Lord, wash my sins away, that, that I can see you that, a bit clearer, that, he's a good God, that, well, when Zacchaeus that, got to that place, that, Jesus looked up and he said come down he said today salvation abideth in your house all I wanted that was my desire Lord that I might dwell that you might abide with me all the days of my life don't you walk away from God and he won't walk away from you but walk with God in his word walk in the spirit and not in the flesh this flesh must be crucified but when the flesh is going down the spirit rise up oh the spirit is burning it's joy in my soul peace in my heart Zacchaeus he was like good you come into my house and, uh, oh he received him with joy and, uh, when Jesus come and, uh, and abide in your house there's a joy and, uh, there's a joy and, uh, there's a joy and, uh, unspeakable and, uh, and the more words you get and, uh, the joy burns and, uh, brighter and hotter and, uh, nothing can put and, uh, this joy out Satan you can't put my burning fire out for Jesus give God praise. Oh, I praise God. I still got a burning fire for Jesus. Oh, God, after all that I've been through, through the ups, through the downs, oh, Lord, in the valley, in the pit, I still got joy. I still got joy. That's one thing that I desire. 
and I'm still seeking after. Oh, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty. I just want to see Jesus. Woo! Oh, that is what I'm pressing for. That's what I'm striving for. That's what I'm suffering for. That I might see his face in peace. He's soon to come. He's soon to come. And many are not looking for him. And if you're not looking for him, you're not making preparations to see him. Because many have a desire to go to heaven, but they're not making preparations according to the word. They make preparations according to their standards. They say, oh, well, we're good people. Oh, Lord, we donate and help those that are less fortunate. But yet all of those works by themselves are good, but it's not enough. Hallelujah. You need this Holy Ghost first and foremost. That's your ticket. Hallelujah. That's what allows you to make a reservation. Hallelujah. To that eternal table, that eternal wedding. You want to make sure you, amen, don't RSVP. You better respond as soon as you can. Hallelujah. But now you got to maintain that reservation. Because sin, if you continue in sin, hallelujah, my God. God don't walk away from you. But many can walk away from God. Walk away from his table. Hallelujah. Walk away from his love. Because they want to do it their way and not God's way. The one thing that will cut you off from God is having an unforgiving spirit. Ooh, hallelujah. The moment you choose not to forgive your brother or your sister who's offended you, that moment God stops forgiving you. That, that's, a, that's a serious statement. And I, I say that because that's what the word says. That's what the word says. It's not something I made up. Hallelujah. Say why? Because God said, I've forgiven you. Hallelujah. Many times over. How dare you withhold. Hallelujah. Forgiveness from someone who has offended you. Hallelujah. God, he wants us to allow the spirit of forgiveness to flow. Through our heart. But the heart must be healed. When someone offends you, your heart is broken. Your heart is hurt. And a hurt heart looks to hurt others. Lord, I need healing. I need you to help me. We can't forgive on our own. But saying don't cut yourself off from God by cutting others off. Ooh, hallelujah. God, he has a strong word. Hallelujah, God don't play. But, but, see, we'll say, but, but, Lord, there is no excuse. Hallelujah. Because there is no limits. For Peter said, okay, Lord, it's got to be a limit. Seven times? Mm-mm. God says 70 times seven. In other words, he was saying, it's unlimited. My forgiveness towards you is unlimited. Oh, so your forgiveness towards others must be unlimited. Oh, he's a good God. I thank him for his word. People say, wait a minute. Well, oh, uh-uh. I'm going to serve you, Lord, but I can't go that far. <laughs> well, saints, my God, you better focus, get focused back on the one thing. If the one thing is more important to you than these other things, and then you will put in perspective and say these other things are, amen, minor details compared to where my soul is going to spend eternity. That's what God wants us to focus on. The one thing, hallelujah, that's what David desired, hallelujah, to spend the rest of his life with the almighty God. And that is my burning desire, and I Sure, that is your desire as well. 
But the Satan's going to do all he can to quench that burning desire. He's going to do all he can to put your fire out because he don't want you to serve God. He don't want you to enjoy fellowship with God. He don't want you, hallelujah, to submit to God's word. He wants you to submit to this flesh. Hallelujah. This flesh is an enmity against God. And they that are in the flesh cannot please the Lord. I bless the Lord. I praise God. When Jesus entered into the house of Zacchaeus, oh, there was others on the outside. Oh, look at him. He's in the house with sinners. But Jesus said, well, that's who I come to save. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, hallelujah, I need to be in your house. See, people are quick to point the finger at other people's sins. But yet, they become blind to their own. Jesus said, he who is without sin cast the first stone. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on me. We and no one is in here to try to, in a position to judge who's deserving and who's not deserving. Because we're all undeserving. We're all here by his mercy. We're all here by his grace. Nothing good that we've done. That's why I told you God resisted the proud, but he gave grace to the humble. I bless the Lord for his word. Hallelujah. They had a good time, Zacchaeus. Uh, they didn't care about what people did. They didn't care about what people said. But yet, all Zacchaeus was happy is that, Lord, I'm glad you're in my house. <laughs> and that should be our delight and our gladness, Lord. I'm just glad. Yes, still abiding in this house. These houses of ours are breaking down. Oh, Lord, I'm going to say that again. These houses of ours are breaking down. Oh, Lord, they, these earthly tabernacles. Lord God, but yet, saints, we have a desire to be absent from the body and to see Jesus present with the Lord. But while we are here on this earth, we got to keep striving. we got to keep pressing until then. Until the Lord says enough is enough and call his church home. Amen. We praise God. We praise him, saints, for his word. We thank God for each and every one of you. And we admonish you to keep that burning fire for Jesus. Keep, let that word keep feeding that flame. Oh, God, that you don't let nothing or no one stop you. Oh, Lord, from seeing not only Jesus down here. Oh, Lord, but seeing Jesus down eternally. I want to go back with him.